The wind chill pushing people to heated areas today. Many COVID testing sites move their lines indoors, and places that offer shelter to those without a warm place to be are full. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live from the convention center with more on how the city is keeping all of its residents out of the cold. Brittany? Well, Mike Shannon, the Providence Emergency Management Agency is urging residents to stay inside if possible to avoid any serious health complications. It's why Crossroads, Rhode Island, says their community warming center demand doubled overnight. Below freezing temperatures causing exceeded limits at Crossroads, Rhode Island. We'll just open up another room within our building and let them stay overnight. We're not going to turn anybody away. President and CEO Karen Santilli tells me these extreme temperatures pose significant health risks, especially to people who are homeless. She says balancing the increased need with distancing guidelines is tough. Last night, we had 16 people sleeping on mats on the floor in our community room, which is our warming center. Um, last week at this time, when the weather wasn't that cold, we had about eight people. The Providence Emergency Management Agency opened several warming shelters across city libraries today. Director Dr. Clara DeServo tells me people can get frostbite in these temperatures in just 15 minutes. Really try to minimize the amount of time you spend outside. There's a real risk for frostbite to any exposed skin in temperatures and winds like we're seeing right now. 15 minutes is the same time Jade Lopez says she had to wait in line for a COVID test last month. She tells me, thankfully, that's not the case today. It's really cold, so even waiting 15 minutes in this weather is a lot, so it's much nicer to have it inside. Many testing sites, including the convention center, moved their waiting lines indoors. General Manager Lawrence Lepore says it's a move they will continue the rest of the week while adding back drive through testing to double capacity. They've ramped up trying to nip this uh, pandemic in the bud again with the exposure going up, trying to make sure that individuals aren't standing out on the sidewalk and a bit of freezing weather. And again, starting Thursday, the convention center here will be offering drive through testing in their garage by appointment only. The general manager tells me it will add hundreds of appointments. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. The cold forced several COVID testing sites to change how they operated today. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer continues our team coverage live in Providence with what those changes are. Brittany? Well, Mike Shannon, last week there was a line of people stretching down the entire side of the convention center building waiting to get tested. But today that line has been moved inside to get people out of the well below freezing temperatures. Also, we're learning today that starting Thursday, this site will once again be offering drive through COVID testing where people can go in, stay in the garage and stay in their cars to stay warm. Erica Johnson is grateful she was able to wait indoors today for her weekly COVID test. I came in today. It was great for them to be like, oh, go inside. I was just like, great, I don't have to freeze today. So <laughs> that was nice. Testing appointments fully booked at the convention center. People tell me the process was simple. Make an appointment, check in outside, then walk through the main doors to get tested. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a little chilly, so I made sure I was extra bundled today for it. It's really cold, so even waiting 15 minutes in this weather is a lot, so it's much nicer to have it inside. Convention Center General Manager Lawrence Lepore says it's a move they will continue the rest of the week while adding back drive through testing to double capacity. But we are going to go back to testing in the garage, so. Uh, so an examiner will go up to a vehicle so people can stay warm in their vehicles. But for some residents, a vehicle to stay warm in isn't an option. It's why Crossroads Rhode Island tells me they are at full capacity. You know, people who are experiencing homelessness, um, particularly if they're unsheltered or they're outdoors all day, um, we know that they have a shorter life expectancy. I mean, it actually has a significant impact on their health. President and CEO Karen Santilli tells me they will exceed capacity tonight. She says keeping people distance during this COVID surge and sheltering all in need is a tough balance. We have some space in the building. If people need to get off the street, we'll just open up another room within our building and let them stay overnight. We're not going to turn anybody away. And Santilli tells me last week they had about eight people staying in their community warming center. They tell me last night that number doubled because of these freezing temperatures. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.